Also, a lot of wasted space in there. There you are. Oh, Can she's so right. How did you find us at the cauldron? And what did you do to everyone right before I passed out? All business, I see. Well, suffice it to say we were keeping a very close eye on Hephaestus, knowing we would need it at some point. Your ruse didn't fool us, and as for my little trick, it was an overload of the senses, accompanied by an energy discharge. Her look Jordan and Eric is were only momentarily disoriented due to their shields, but it it rendered you unconscious while I got you out. Perhaps some breakfast might steady you a bit. What am I gonna tell Zoe? The this two that house. had like a future together. The one you recreated for Beta. In the data channel you shared. How perceptive of you. Please, this way. Oh my gosh, her outfit's After so cool. After everything your people have done, you think I'm just gonna sit down and have a chat with you? They're not my people. They never were, and especially not now. You shot off into space with them. Yeah, <laughs> like a thousand <laughs> years before coming back. So what made you suddenly turn on them? Quite simply, this. My old focus. You repaired it? But that means you've seen... How could she tell? Incredible things. What you've accomplished in two decades of life. <coughs> How does she get that? My back and I haven't even come close. I'm sorry if I invaded your privacy, but I had to. In order to understand, to be enlightened. You truly are Elizabeth's blood. With her drive, her sense of mission, her integrity. I don't think that's got anything to do with my genetics. Watching I think that's all Rost, honestly. Company that I've kept. Having seen it, all I want is to help you. Even if it means stopping your friends? Especially so. <coughs> Please, sit down. Don't tell me you have a conscience or that you finally got one after a thousand years. <coughs> to be fair, I think that art says more about her than me. And there. I do think that's this was... Better. Not as now, easy for her. We must recover Beta As for the others who shot in space. By now you must know that Gerard intends to use Gaia to reboot the Earth's biosphere. This is Remaking so weird. this world to specifications that would only suit us immortals. This process will kill every living thing on the planet. He calls it a clean install. Not if I stop him first. Not if we... Do. And once he yeah, and the we're others not gonna are get gone, far by myself. We can work <coughs> together to fulfill Elizabeth's dream. I'm sure Beta told I don't trust you, she's trying to get rid of them of the Apollo database on board our ship. A complete yes! of human knowledge. With yeah, that and give Gaia, it we could do everything Elizabeth wanted. Heal the biosphere, educate the people of this world, uplift them create the world she imagined. I don't That's trust her. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. From what I've seen, your friends are invincible. I do wish you And it feels like she's setting herself up like, like a goddess. And they're not invincible. Yeah, well. In fact, a friend of yours has found a way oh, to Oh no. Them. Silence. Silas. He's been a busy bee. Silence, what? <laughs> building an army powerful enough to crash through Gerard's precious base. Regala and her rebels. Even now, she's preparing a final. You know, I totally forgot North about her. Capital. When she yeah, wins, I totally forgot about her. She'll have the entire tribe under her control. Hundreds of warriors and machines to throw at the base. She's been duped. They'll all perish, of course. But it should be enough to break Gerard's defenses and allow Silence to kill him, along with all the others. 
Using the new weapon he's developed. <coughs> yes, he's found a way to circumvent our shields. Truly an exceptional man, he's planned for everything. Except you and me. You see, while his army you know his plans? battering down Gerard's doors, you and I will sneak in through a back way. One that only I know about. While Silence and my friends are busy battling each other, we'll take back Beta and Gaia. I told you I want to help you. I mean it. Don't trust her. Uh, no, sorry. <laughs> I was interrupting a little bit when she was talking, but like, I almost feel like she wants to get rid of everybody else. Like, this is j just from like the way she said, like, it'll. She basically is going to be leaving herself as the only immortal, you know? So I feel like maybe. Also, if she knows Silence plans, I'll, I will give her the benefit of the doubt here, and I think maybe she is. Um, has been working with silence behind everybody's back and to be honest she was nice to like nice ish to beta she had back doors to talk to beta or at least interact with her a bit so like i'm torn <laughs> but also i'm like what's her like i feel like she's had to have she has to have multiple goals here not just like let's let's help elizabeth's dream come true and here's the apollo database which i would do nearly anything for but like I'm just like, ugh, I'm torn. I'm torn on on whether or not I should trust her. Uh, I'll yeah. I want to know how she got my focus and how she, especially how she met Silence or how she just knows what focus. he's about. <coughs> how did you find it, let alone repair it? When we encountered you at the Hades Proving Lab, Gerard saw you as a redundancy. <coughs> I knew better. You were a oh. After your dramatic escape. Bravo, by the way. Gerard and Eric assumed you were dead and gave up the hunt. I wasn't so sure. When the others were busy, I returned to the lab and searched for any trace of you. That's when I found this little treasure. Not easy to repair, but I forgot that had been knocked off, I guess. As I watched your life unfold, you were like a splash of color on a worn canvas. What Liz was, and more. Did you show it to the others? Of course not. It was your actions that inspired me to defy them. It's worth noting that if I hadn't found it and watched its contents, I wouldn't have known to save you at the cauldron. You'd be dead. So I should be grateful? If you like. <laughs> yeah. But I am guessing that she's got, like, a whole thing with Silence bad. going. <coughs> he isn't the only one adept at spyware. You hacked his focus? No, he's too careful for that. But his subordinates? <laughs> Not so much. He gave additional oh. focuses to the troubles he branded the sons of Prometheus. <gasps> the ones working with Regala. By oh, tapping their focuses, I learned about most of his dealings. The distribution of override technology, the arming of Tanakh rebels, and the secret pact with Regala to attack Gerard's base. But how did he come up with a weapon that can take down your shields? That's the one thing I haven't been able to figure out, but however he did it, I'm quite certain it will work. With it and the Tanakh army, victory seems to be within his grasp. It's such a shame he'll be disappointed. Well, I mean, if his whole thing is to, um, like, defeat the guys, the, the invaders, like, he'll do that. I'm not sure what else he's hoping to be doing in there. I don't know if he necessarily wants Gaia. Yeah, I don't think he would know that guy was there because they just got taken from us unless he planned ahead that Regal far. Regal is only interested in killing Hakaro and waging war on the Karja. What does she have to gain by attacking Zenith? It's the price she must pay for her war. Without the ability to override machines, her little rebellion would have languished in the desert. So she trades with the sons of Prometheus. Machines to help her overthrow Hikaro. In exchange for an assault on the base. Pride has deluded her into thinking she can actually 
survive such a battle, and all without ever knowing who the sons of Prometheus really answer to. Yet for all of Silence's brilliance, still he underestimates you. That blind spot is what will allow us to take Beta and Gaia right out from under him. While hundreds of Tanakh are cut down outside. Probably very, very fast. So you knew Elizabeth. What was she like? Liz was everything she was, I see in you, and more. Your ingenuity, your determination. They didn't tell me anything. Your moral compass. You've managed to distill her greatest qualities and make them your own. I'm not asking about me. Tell me about Elizabeth. Yeah. What was she really Thank like? Thank you, Aloy. The honest answer is that I don't actually know. For all the time that I spent with her, she always kept a part of herself locked away. It was like that from the moment we met. So when you met Elizabeth, she was what? Distant? Aloof? Not aloof. Not exactly. <coughs> it was a summit in Paris about machine learning. A touchy subject in those days because regulatory authorities were just starting to clamp down on AIs. Liz gave the keynote yeah. address. She had already achieved great renown for her work in automated environmental reclamation. But in her address, she was just starting to imagine the next step, an AI-driven system that wouldn't just act on its programming, but actually take responsibility for its sphere of influence. To care about life, not just follow orders. Revolutionary stuff. I was fascinated. And I wanted to meet her for a long time. I watched her after her talk. She had spoken with such moral authority, such empathy. But after that, she retreated. I could tell she felt uncomfortable with all of her admirers. It was as if giving the talk had cost her something. I didn't want to be a pest, so I planned my approach carefully. Okay. So how did you finally approach Elizabeth after her talk? I picked the right moment. The morning of the next day, right as she came back to the conference, she had just had her coffee. She was fresh, rested. It was like she had braced herself for the onslaught of colleagues. I asked if I could walk with her then put forth a question about her talk that I no. thought was intelligent. Her answer made me realize it wasn't, but she was very welcoming, almost as if we were previously acquainted. It was only halfway through the conversation that I realized she knew exactly who I was. It was quite a shock to me. My business was trafficking in secrets and I took great pains to protect my anonymity. So that was Liz, perpetually one step ahead. I came to view our meeting as a metaphor for our friendship. She always seemed to know me far better than I knew her. I guess I know the feeling. You said Beta is not in urgent danger. So what are the Zeniths doing to her? Putting her to work. Merging Hephaestus with Gaia. A difficult, time-consuming task, as I'm sure you know. They will compel her if need be. But her life is not in danger. She's the only one who can do it. Because you people made her to be nothing but a tool. Gerard's idea, not mine. Okay. They always viewed me with suspicion when I attempted any form of kindness towards her. That's why I created the data <laughs> channel. A virtual place where we could speak in peace. So this channel you shared with Beta, none of the other Zeniths ever found out about it. Gerard believes he's the most cunning of all of us. Even after a thousand years, he still can't imagine that I would outwit him. 
The channel allowed me to interact with Beta away from their mistrustful eyes. It offered us a chance to be ourselves. Until you cut off all contact. Yes. Though it pained me. I was worried that our meetings would do her more harm than good. Well, she felt like you tossed her aside. I was afraid the others would find out and punish her. She may not have had the comforts of friendship anymore, but at least I ensured she was safe. I know it seems harsh, <coughs> but you must believe that her well-being has always been paramount to me. I want to believe her, honestly. <coughs> Why did you make the data channel look like this place? I built this house as a shelter to weather any storm. A safe place. Not just for me, but for the art stored below. Cultural artifacts of incalculable value. Truly some of the greatest achievements of human civilization. And you wanted Beta to see them? Yes. Her upbringing was so cold and technical. I thought if she could experience Vermeer and Rembrandt, it would bring something else into her life. A heritage every bit as valuable as the scientific yeah, that's a good point. data being mm -hmm. trumped into her. I'm sorry I had to cut off contact, but I'll never regret sharing this house with her. She needed its shelter even more than I did. In order to be well-rounded, I agree. Beta told me your colony was destroyed. That you came back to Earth because you had nowhere else to go. <coughs> it's true. After we reached our destination, a planet in the Sirius star system, we spent decades building a new home. The physical constraints of Earth, the boundaries of mortality, gone. To think of what we could have done with it. It might have been a utopia. No. Instead, we stagnated, absorbed in effortless comforts and virtual realities. It took a cataclysm to finally yank us out of our stupor. What happened? A massive geological event. We knew of instabilities <laughs> in the planet core, but we underestimated them. By the time the collapse was upon us, it was too late to stop it. Only a few of us made it to the ship in time. We set course for Earth. The only safe harbor left to us. Which you decided to make unsafe for anyone else. Not me. Gerard. He believes it's better to wipe the canvas clean than work around the smudges. No more primitive tribes, no more combat machines, only a blank slate to do with as he pleases. But we will stop him. All we have to do is get into that I base. think as an art appreciator, <laughs> it potentially tells you that that really doesn't sit well with her. A lot of artists will work and rework the same thing over and over and over again, you know? Or like if you work with like watercolor, you have to work with the little mistakes, you know? So, I could see that. I, I want to believe her, but a part of me is concerned that she's gonna backstab us. But also, we can't do this without her. What exactly is your plan to sneak into the Zenith base? We will make use of a lesson I learned from an early age. Always know your exits. In this case, a place where Gerard's new construction meets the ancient foundation. A passage that only I can access. When Silence flings his army at the base, we will enter through this back door. Bypassing most of the fighting. The distraction will provide us with a window in which to rescue Beta and Gaia. Uh -huh. Once we're inside the Super base, easy. where will we find Beta and Gaia? Here, in the command center. By then, Gaia will have been reunited with all of its subordinate functions, including Hephaestus. And Artemis, and everything. What about everything? the alpha build of Apollo on your ship? A simple matter of recovery, once the others have been dealt with. With that in hand, we'll have everything we need to make this world as it should be. And what are you hoping for? I know she said, like, Elizabeth's, like, vision and all, but... Honestly, like, that's not really feasible necessarily anymore. It's going to be different. Because we didn't have Apollo from the start, you know? So you know all about me. What about you? What would you like oh, to Oh, no. This episode's oh. very long. Start with your life on Earth. 
When I was eight, terrorists flooded my home city. Thousands drowned, my parents included. I was one of the few who survived. My guardian sent me to boarding school. Among my peers, I was the strange girl, the orphan to be avoided. All because of circumstances beyond my control. Oh. So we're a lot alike, huh? Aren't we? You were an outcast. <coughs> but you didn't let that stop you from getting what you needed. Neither did I. I climbed my way out of desolation and used my wits to build a fortune. First from the technical analysis of art and the detection of forgeries. Profitable expertise in those days. But as it turned out, the software I developed was even more useful for counter- Oh, good. From there, it was only a short step to gathering extremely valuable intelligence on my own. You were a spy? More like a service one could turn to for She's Liara. Except I had to remain anonymous, of course, to protect my privacy. But despite that anonymity, Far Zenith inevitably sought me out. She's like Liara, except she was like an art critic. Not critic, but art. Uh, art artist person, I can't think of the word. <laughs> In the art business instead of an archaeologist. What happened when Far Zenith approached you? They painted an irresistible vision of humanity's future. One where we need not fear illness or death, where we explored the furthest reaches of the stars and thrived. It was only <coughs> later that I realized that they only intended to bequeath this future to the rich and powerful. At the time, I finally figured it out. The walls were closing in. Faro's machines were devouring the Earth. So I accepted Far Zenith's invitation to a birth on the Odyssey. I wanted Liz to come, but she had no good plans, as she well know. So you didn't know the other Zeniths were monsters until it was too late? I, I knew some of them were. Certainly, it, it wasn't until we were off planet that I understood the true scope of their greed. The whole idea is I greed. I was grateful to simply be alive, but the others became obsessed with a kind of effortless immortality. They built a colony where machines serviced their every need, where any memory or fantasy could be endlessly savored in virtual reality. It wasn't life. It was stultifying, a pampered dream state. Yeah, I wouldn't expect As anything the else. Passed, I withdrew more and more, alone yet again. But this time with eons to consider my mistakes. Now, finally, having met you, I feel like I have a second chance. I could see it. To do what? Help you, of course. To fulfill Liz's dream, which isn't so different from Far Zenith's original vision. A better future for humanity. I could kind of see it too. If she really does think so well of Liz, Lisbeth, and was like potentially friends with her or admired her, I could see her being extremely intrigued with this iteration of her, almost like seeing her as a daughter of, her, of, of Liz, a, a continuation, you know? First Faro, now Hikaru and the Tanakh. Your plan would wipe out an entire tribe. There has to be another way. We are in an admittedly desperate situation, but I assure you there isn't. Why don't we just... Remember Zero Dawn. I'm not... Elizabeth's sacrifice. I'm not gonna to let them die. To die for a new world to grow. If it looks impossible, look deeper. Oh, here's it's what we need to do. The data channel. It still exists, doesn't we it? We need to make all the to not I get need along. You to open it. Let me talk to Beta. 
Impossible we might be detected. It's worth the risk. There is another way, one where the Tanakh survive. <laughs> but we won't. If the others... If you want to help, open it. What are they doing to her? Virtual reality dissociation. The manual merge of Hephaestus will take hours upon hours of tedious micromanagement. If she resists the work, they run simulations to induce feelings of isolation and despair. Beta, can you hear me? This is horrible. You're alive. They're watching me. I, I, I can't hold up this extra projection for long. You should have killed me. No. No, look at me. I'm coming for you. I promise, okay? I just need you to hold out a little while longer and work on the merch. Oh, secrets! That not even we get to know. Then I think it can be done. I'll contact again when it's time. Can you hold on? As long as I know you're coming for me, I can endure anything. Yeah, the hologram stuff. Need 3D glasses. Right. I did as you asked. Now I think you need to tell me what you're planning. I'm <laughs> going to take Silent's army away. Oh, is that what we're going to do? Only the weapon he made to penetrate your shields. And how do you propose to get it? Ask him nicely? Oh, definitely. With that Regala and her rebels, he won't have a choice. We'll be his only option. Only option for what? What did you tell her? Is between me and my sister. <gasps> we'll be Silent's only option for crashing that base. I'll tell you the rest later. But first, there are a couple of things I have to do. Her sister! Oh. And what are those? Lay my friend to rest. And then I'm going to use the override that Beta gave me at Gemini to put an end to Regala's rebellion. Wow! Wow! <laughs> Since you insist on doing things your way, I know of something that will truly help you make a grand entrance with the Tanakh. I'm gonna fly! No. Well. The ancient Horus Titans still possess a no. lot of cells as part of their arsenal. Drop one of those on Regala's army and they'll be oh, okay. quite a surprise. I thought she was gonna be like, so reactivate a Horus. I'll come to your base if you manage to bring silence to the table. Not if, when. Believe me, <laughs> I can do it. Aaron, anyway. are you there? No. Aloy. Aloy, is that really you? Yeah, it's, it's me. Where's everyone else? We're all, uh, we're, we're back at base. What happened? It, it might be easier to explain in person. I'll try to join you there when I can. Okay. I, we'll wait here for you. It's good to hear your voice, Aloy. I'm glad that they apparently bypassed all my friends doing stuff. And just went straight to me. I could see them going and just like wrecking everybody and then coming to me. But now, at, here soon, I have to go tell Zoe. I can't believe he's actually gone.
Varl's been like a staple for so... He's... I hope they give him a really good ceremony, honestly. Just to let you know, I'm now patched into your focus network. Great. I take it the others no. in this can't hear us? Of course not. And they don't know about your base either, in case you were wondering. I've sent you data on the Horus energy cells you can use against Regala's forces. Reach out to me when you're ready to acquire one. Understood. I think it's a good idea not to tell her everything, honestly. I agree with Aloy, and also the fact that she called her sister is just <laughs> so wonderful. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, now I have to go. <sighs> they had like a oh well, gosh, I can't believe it. It feels kind of like a cheap shot almost to kill Varl, where it's like, oh look, we're gonna pull on the heartstrings. It's super easy if you kill off Varl, who everybody was either like half in love with or like best pals with. I don't know. And now I gotta tell Zoe. That her whole future she had planned is upended in many ways, right? So, I know she'll be alright, but it'll be really tough. But anyway, that's enough of that uh, for now. So, um, not sure if this episode is going to be one long one or, or two or what. There was a lot that happened there, but thank you all. If it's a long one, thank you all for watching. I appreciate it a lot. <laughs> Uh, really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, but to especially Rieskelito, my sapling tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. And an extra special shout out to Adam, my tree tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. You're just super wonderful and I super appreciate it. And an extra, extra shout out to my forest tier patron, <coughs> Christopher, <laughs> who has gone above and beyond and been just incredibly kind and supportive and wonderful. And I really do appreciate all your support. So thank you all again for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.